are not going to believe what I just heard. Today on Horseland. She has no right to treat people the way she does. Malicious gossip threatens to tear apart lifelong friendships. You're the one who started it. And ruin everything that's special about Horseland. What's the point of being here? It says this guy met Shondi's sister at Shondi's birthday party, and now the sister and this guy are seeing each other. Ooh, harsh. Do you think it's really true, Zoe? I doubt it, Chloe. Is anything in this magazine actually true? Yeah, and anyway, how could one sister possibly be so cruel to another? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, Champ. Why do they read it if they don't think it's true? Hard to explain, Tina. Humans call it gossip. What's gossip, Champ? It's an ugly thing, Tinny. It's saying things behind somebody's back. Why would anyone do that? Beats me. All I know is it can be really nasty, especially when it's you somebody's gossiping about. Pretty good. Pretty good. Keep it moving now. You have to keep it precise. Yes! Great going. I think you have a real shot at the trophy. Oh, cool. Right. Way to ride. Woo! Can I help you here, Bailey? Sure, that'd be nice, Molly. What's that you're humming? Do I la 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 like you more than I la la love you? It's Sarah Malone from that Pretty in Purple CD. Do you like her songs? Yeah, kinda. I read about her in one of Zoe's gossip magazines. It said some revealing things. Sarah's not a very pleasant person. She has a huge <gasps> ego and thinks she can do anything. Do you believe that? I'm just telling you what I read. You are not gonna believe what I just heard. Molly was totally trashing Sarah. No, they're like this. She said Sarah has a huge ego and thinks she can do anything. Who said that? Molly. No way. If you don't believe me, ask her yourself. I will. <laughs> Better yet. Listen for yourself. I'm telling you, Sarah is totally full of herself. Told you so. <laughs> she's a stuck-up phony. She treats people like she's so far above them. <gasps> Hold on, Molly. That's just gossip. Oh, I know. I'm out of here. This isn't right. <gasps> Sarah, it's you. <laughs> Yep, it's me. What's wrong? Oh, ow! I have um, a splinter in my foot. Been bugging me all day. Help me to the house, okay? Sure, Alma. Here, lean on me. Did you tell her? Tell me what? Nothing, come on. Why didn't you tell her? Alma, I'm not going anywhere until you tell me. Okay, but you're not gonna like it. Molly's talking trash about you. Oh, please. I heard her too. She called you a, a stuck up phony. What? That's not Molly. I'll ask her myself. Where is she? In the tack room. I don't care what the magazines say. I like her singing. Even if Sarah's a miserable human being, just because she has money, she has no right to treat people the way she does. <gasps> now do you believe us? It doesn't make any sense. Why would Molly say those things about me? <laughs> Calypso, what is wrong with you? There's nothing there. See you tomorrow, Bailey. I'm putting Calypso on her stall. Bye, Molly, and stay away from Zoe's magazines. <laughs> okay. Now's your chance. Let her say it to your face. I still can't believe. 
<laughs> hey, what's wrong with all of you? That's what we'd like to know. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're the one who needs to do the explaining, not us. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Sarah, please! What's this all about? If you have a problem with me, tell me straight to my face. What are you talking about, Sarah? I never said anything about you. <gasps> You're not trying to deny it, are you? Excuse me? Molly, I never thought you, of all people, would be so two-faced. Two-faced? That's my right. Look, I don't know how you got this in your heads, but if you don't want to explain yourselves, then hey, fine. It's not my problem. Molly! Don't bother. She had her chance. Yeah, she sure did. I know what to do about Molly. We give her the silent treatment. I'm telling you, she was talking about some singer named Sarah, not our Sarah. Are you saying Zoe lied? Zoe didn't lie. She misunderstood. I'm surprised at Sarah. She doesn't usually fall for this sort of garbage. And now look, the whole mess keeps getting worse and worse. Poor Molly. She has no idea what this is all about. If they don't stop talking to each other, it's not going to get any better. Complete silent treatment. Not one word for any reason. Here she comes. <laughs> Hello, you. At least I still have one friend left at Horseland. What is wrong with you? What is up? Why are they being so mean to me? Thank goodness I have you, girl. Okay, girl, let them go first. This is awful, Champ, just awful. It's what happens when people stop communicating. Molly? Oh, you're talking to me? It doesn't have to be this way. What way? I have no idea why you're doing this to me. Talk to me. You're the one who started it. I think you know how to end it. Started what? End what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sarah, what is going on? We all heard you, Molly. You know what you said. Come on, Sarah. Until she owns up to what she's done, there's no point talking to her. Racing back to horse land. <laughs> Sarah? Yeah. <sighs> this just gets worse and worse. Ready to win this thing. 
Where'd that team go? Fine! Bailey, what are you doing? We just started. Let's just take a break. We'll try again later. It was her fault. She bumped into Pepper and me. What's going on with everybody? Don't ask me. Yesterday, everything was cool. Today, I'm a nobody. Maybe you could talk to them, Bailey. Find out what it's all about. Why don't you try to work it out first? If you still need me, sure, I can try. I don't know, Bailey. Give it a try. You're all good friends. They sure aren't acting like good friends. You'll work it out. <sighs> I've had enough of this, Calypso. They want to give me the silent treatment? I'll show them silent treatment. I used to have the coolest friends at Horseland. I wonder where they went. Cause all that's left is a bunch of babbling, gossipy kids. And I'm not interested in being on any team with them. Hey, I just got a craving for some cocoa with a whole lot of whipped cream on top. Anybody else? Anybody but you. And who could possibly care? <laughs> I have no friends at Horseland anymore. And if I don't have friends, what's the point of being here? <laughs> I'm sorry, Calypso. We're just going to have to find a new stable. I know, girl. I don't like it either. I'd better start packing up my gear. Where's Molly? She pulled out. What? Get her back! I don't think she wants to come back. Come on! I don't know what's going on with all of you, but if you want the trophy, you better get her back. wants to take a little ride and talk this over. Sounds good. I could use the distraction. Yeah, a nice trail ride. <laughs> I think I'll get my jacket. Good idea. Molly's almost finished emptying our locker. But what can we do? I have an idea. Here's the plan. Okay. There they go, my ex-best friends. Just a few more things and I'll be done. Horseland, all right? <laughs> but we're not going anywhere near those others, okay? <laughs> Come on, girl, let's go. Did you get a rock in your hoof? Nope, don't see one. <laughs> Hurts, huh, girl? Come on, I'll walk you back. Hey, you're okay now. <laughs> what is 
is with you. Come on, girl. It's not that far. Oh, no. Something wrong with Calypso? We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Come on, Sarah. Vamanos! <laughs> you alone. I mean, we're friends, right? Used to be. I don't know about now. I don't like this any more than you do. You're not the one getting the silent treatment. Well, I'm not silent now. Okay, so tell me, what in the world is this all about? <sighs> Zoe heard you say I had a huge ego. I never said that. Alma didn't believe her. So she went to see you, and she heard you say I was a stuck-up phony. No way! Then I heard you call me a miserable person. Wait, was that when I was talking to Bailey in the tag room? I don't believe this! I don't either, Molly. I said something like, Sarah has a lot of money, and she treats people badly, right? Um, yeah. Yeah! I said those things, all of them. But why? I don't say things like that about you. And I never said them about you. But Molly, you just said. I said those things about a singer, a singer named Sarah Malone. I was talking about her, not you. Oh, Molly! I don't know what to say. I should have, should have. You should have talked to me, Sarah. <laughs> No, I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me, Molly? <laughs> yeah, I can, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Dumped the sister to go back to Shondi. Tacky, tacky. Z Zoe, look! <laughs> Everybody, we owe Molly a really, really huge apology. What Why? Do you mean? Molly didn't say what we thought she said. But I heard her. We all heard her. We heard her talking about somebody else, about a different Sarah. And Molly almost left us, almost left Horseland, because of all this. Oh, Molly. Molly. I'm so sorry. I guess this is our fault. Well, technically, it's your fault. Yeah, it's true. I'm the one who spread the gossip. We're all at fault, Zoe. We should have talked it out with Molly, not behind her back. And it kept getting worse and worse. <laughs> Why did we let it go on so long? <laughs> we have to make a vow. We will never let this happen again. Ever. Never. Never, ever. I'm for that. What I did was really awful. Can you ever forgive me, Molly? I can, Zoe. That's the best place for trash like that. 